It all started with a patch note. Selfie expression. Selfie expression enables you to use your webcam to add tracking to your desktop avatar. As a note, this feature is in early access for VRC Plus subscribers. How dare they? A business trying to make money? This is outrageous! I'm, I'm gonna do it myself! How does face tracking work even? Yep. I coded my own face tracking for VRChat, and I'm going to explain to you my journey to making this functional app. Starting from... The start. With literally no idea how any of this works, I first checked how headsets do it. Most headsets that support face tracking route their face tracking data to VRChat through third-party software called VRC Face Tracking, a very widely used program that translates raw face tracking data into signals that VRChat understands. But this solution is for desktop users, so we can't really use a headset right now. So I looked to other existing solutions, and I saw some people using iPhones and their built-in AR kit for some decent quality face tracking. And honestly, I was pretty impressed. But I use a Samsung phone, so that's not gonna work for me. I looked around for Android solutions, and I found this Android app called Meow Face. The app works in the same way most headsets do. It pairs with VRC face tracking using a custom module to interpret the signals. But upon testing it, it barely works at all. And the facial expressions are mapped to the wrong things. For example, if I smile, my eyes close. If I raise my eyebrows, my mouth moves to the side. The only thing that actually worked well is the eye tracking, so it wasn't completely hopeless. But nonetheless, how the hell can the module made specifically for the app mess things up this bad? Looking at the Android app itself, I can tell that my facial parameters are being measured correctly, apart from this mild racism. So I sat there wondering, am I really about to do Yes. So, if the data is being sent correctly, then there's a non-zero chance that I can interpret it with custom code and use it myself. But first, let's figure out what the Meowface app actually sends. I ran Meowface on my phone and told it to send the facial data to my PC on port 12345. Now we open up Wireshark on the PC to look at the traffic on that port. And sure enough, we can see traffic coming through. Here's the raw data that we're receiving each UDP packet. If you're wondering why you can't read this... Yeah, me too. I copied the raw hex data as ASCII text and I pasted it into Notepad. And seemingly, this is just a JSON file containing all the facial parameters that Meowface tracks. JSON files are extremely common structured files for storing data, which makes them really easy to parse. So I began writing the script in Python to parse this JSON data, and in almost no time, there it is. So now that we have a bunch of face tracking data, how the hell do we get it into VRChat? This was the biggest mystery to me. I didn't have the slightest clue as to how VRChat interfaces with external software, so I opened the VRC face tracking app to see if it'll give me any hints, and I found the option to change the OSC port that facial data is sent on. And, uh, huh. Open Sound Controller, OSC for short, is a protocol for networking sound synthesizers, computers, and other multimedia devices for purposes such as musical performances. So why would it be here, in a face tracking app? Well. That's because using OSC, we can send just about anything you can think of. It doesn't necessarily have to be audio data. Using an app called Protocol, we can see the format in which OSC sends data. It seems to send one parameter name and value per message, meaning OSC is just a really simple protocol for exchanging variables between systems, be it a synthesizer, a computer, or even a game like VRChat. Whoa. Knowing this, we have our starting point. Do you guys understand now? What the fuck no, are you don't fucking about, understand! Man? Next, I looked around through VRChat's files and I found these. A list of configuration files for each avatar I've ever used. Inside was a JSON file containing a list of parameters that can either be inputs, outputs, or both. What we're interested in is the input parameters. All of these parameters are controlled by OSC signals. Reading through, we can see that a few of them relate to face tracking. Eye look in left, brow in or up, jaw open, tongue out, and many more. Although, a few of them confuse me, some of them have numbers at the end and I haven't figured out what they do yet, but we'll get to it. Let's start with the simple ones. We'll parse the JSON data and make a simple mapping system that routes the Meowface parameters to VRChat's avatar parameters, starting with jaw open. Both Meowface and the code are running right now, and... We got our first sign of success. I can open my mouth in-game using my actual mouth. Okay, next, let's throw in all the remaining parameters and see which ones work and which ones don't. After that, we seem to have working eye tracking, blinking, and a working tongue. But there are a whole lot of parameters that are not working right now. 
Eyebrows, mouth position, nose sneering, and smiling are all just not working. These are all those mysterious numbered parameters I mentioned before. The numbers at the end are all powers of 2, which could give us some clues. I wrote a function that can convert the floating point values of meow face into boolean values to send to these parameters. If the float is something like 0.2, then I'd set the first, smallest parameter to be true. If the float is 0.9, then I'd set the last and largest parameter to be true instead. And if the float happened to be negative, then the parameter's negative flag was set to true as well. This implementation wasn't based on any documentation, this was just pure assumption. But going into VRChat and testing it out for some of the numbered parameters, it was kinda working, very horribly and inconsistently, but it was doing something, which means we're making progress. This had me stumped for a while. I couldn't comprehend why it looked so stiff and unresponsive. Any changes I made either didn't do anything or broke the code entirely. That is, until I made an insane discovery. There is a VRC face tracking documentation which lists all existing parameters, their value ranges, and their data type, which also led me to stumble upon this page. Boolean parameters. Binary parameters represent the value of a float parameter in base 2 counting system. Oh my god. I have no idea how this slipped my mind. Instead of the solution we have right now, where only one value at a time can be enabled, we need to instead convert floating point values we're getting from meow face into raw binary, and then send the individual binary digits to each of the numbered parameters in order of magnitude, where a 1 corresponds to sending a value of true and a 0 corresponds to sending a value of false for the given number of parameter. This is such a painful way to do it, but it is absolutely necessary because having a bunch of floating point values attached to your avatar gets computationally expensive pretty quick when you scale it up to entire lobbies. My stupid ass had to use the bitwise AND operator for the first time in years to get this to work. But sure enough, that was the missing piece. And now we have mostly functional face tracking in VRChat. The eyebrows move smoothly, I can pucker my mouth into a kissy face, I can move it side to side, I can smile with each side of my face independently like I'm having a stroke, it's fantastic. But why did I say mostly working? Because half the parameters don't even work! This time, I'm pretty sure that the person that made this avatar didn't include anything for the following parameters. Which means we lose a bit of expressiveness, but that's okay. Even some thousand dollar headsets don't exactly have perfect face tracking. Some parameters are just outright missing by default. So with this solution, I'm quite happy. I might swerve in that corner, whoa, whoa. It's short on tight, cause I'll tweak in the bits, I'll let it shit go. And I heard that she wanna show, whoa. Me who she be, I'm kinda fucking with it, show me some more. 